we are back to basics again and my topic today is interpreting an antibiogram. I am actually dividing it into five parts. One is discussing def definitions, types and utility, methodology issues, intrinsic resistance, how we decipher common resistance mechanisms and site specific examples. So what exactly is an antibiogram? By definition, it is a result of lab susceptibility of an isolated bacterial strain to different antibiotics. Essentially, it is an in vitro susceptibility test. You have two types. One is the hospital antibiogram and the other is a patient specific antibiogram. The hospital antibiogram is a periodic summary of antimicrobial susceptibility of local hospital isolates. It provides percentage susceptibility of organisms. It is used to guide empiric treatment and that is really the main purpose of it. It is also used to detect and monitor antimicrobial trends. So when we look at antimicrobial therapy, it is actually divided into three parts. One is prophylaxis where the risk is minimal, but we just want to cover. The second is empiric therapy that is the best guess based on site, etiology, severity of illness local susceptibilities that has been underlined because that is so important, comorbidities, the ability to source control and, if, and also the history of previous antibiotics in that episode. And the last is defined infection which is actual interpreting a susceptibility report. So the hospital antibiogram that all of us are familiar with essentially deals with empiric therapy or guides empiric therapy and you have a patient risk stratification which depends on patient type 1 who has no contact with healthcare system, the ones who have some sort of contact with the healthcare system and the ones in ICUs who are usually long hospitalization and have invasive devices within the last 60 days. Again to reiterate, empiric therapy is early institution we know in sepsis delay increases mortality and blood culture sensitivity decreases with prior broad spectrum antibiotics. With th these two tenets, we need to remember that the choice depends on the likely etiology and the local epidemiology, severity of illness, prior exposure and comorbidities or risk factors. The second point of an empiric or an anti antibiogram is monitoring trends. All of us are plagued with increasing antimicrobial resistance in hospital acquired gram negative infections with ESBLs, AMC and carbapenemases and antimicrobial resistance even in the community, E. coli especially in urinary tract infections and Staph aureus, CA, MRSA and we are certainly seeing a rise. In